All right, hopping on here in the beginning in classic uh, Todd fashion to say a couple things. Uh, number one, this Duratrax rod DTXG0475 is for the Torque 21 engine. Uh, in the video coming up, I'm going to say that I should have Googled it. Where I, well, I did Google it, and that is for the Torque 21 engine. Yeah, you're gonna. The video is kind of going to be jumbled up a little bit, um, but the points uh, are cogent, and you should be able to get what I'm saying. Oh, that also that RB rod is also, I believe, I wrote C6 on there, so uh, that should also work for the RB C6. Uh, but uh, you'll get. The point of the video, uh, it's going to be jumbled around a little bit because I went back and did. See y'all in the video. Have a good one. Hello and welcome to Nitro Talk. Uh, if you are into nitro engines, vehicles, anything at all to do with the nitro side of the RC hobby, I would love some help making it to 1,000 subs. I am very close. I really appreciate Everyone who watches, everyone who comments, uh, anyone who gets anything at all from my channel, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. We have a good episode today. Let me start by saying this. I'm getting back in the groove of things. Uh, my nitro knowledge is coming back to me. It's uh, fresh, fresh, getting fresher in the head, and... Uh, I'm getting back in the groove of making videos, and I kind of today remembered why I started this channel. Now, I love showing off my collection. I love showing you guys stuff maybe you've seen, haven't seen, haven't seen in a while. But the, the real reason why I started this channel was to keep these nitro engines running. Keep nitro vehicles on the road. Keep the nitro hobby going. Uh, and uh, basically keep keep nitros burning fuel. All right. So to that end, we're going to have a little bit more of a technical video today. Awesome. Let's do it. All right. I was going to, I was going to tear these down, right? But... I wasn't thinking. So the point I was going to start with was, uh, and today's video is on rods. We are talking today about connecting rods. Uh, those who watched my last uh, collection video, they saw that I had a few of these Surefire 32 Connecting rods. Where is my razor? Yeah. So, uh, where where am I uh, going with this? Sorry, I got a little sidetracked there, but boom, I'm I'm right back. This is a Surefire 32 connecting rod, but as most of us uh, know. Uh, the Surefire is really just a rebranded Axial 32, right? So, uh, not only will this rod work for the Surefire 32, but it will also work for the Axial 32. Uh, and uh, as well as, this is the Kyosho XXL, which is a rebranded Axial 28. Uh, it will also work in the Axial 28. So... Axial 28 and 32, Surefire 32, all the same rod, okay? We talked about how the Mach and the Sportworks, Sportworks 26, M26 XS, SS, uh, Losi, Mach, are the same rod. Uh, but also the 28s, the Mach 28, engines and those variants uh, also use the same rod. My, my point where I'm going with this is a lot of rods 
are interchangeable. Now, you got, now the Racer's Edge one, that, uh, it goes with all the axials, that one's I know for sure. Um, but, let's, uh, all right, so what we've got right here is your classic Nova Rossi R7 rod. Uh, this came in a ton of Nova Rossi engines, your classic R7. Oh, uh, and it is, now this one also, uh, as you can see, is a used one. So, little bit big on the bottom and right on four on the top. Uh, and this one is an overall length of 34. Um, so five on the bottom, four on the top, 34 length, end of hole to end of hole. Uh, what we have right here is the RB number 10 rod, which I believe, uh, uh also works for the RB C6 engine, I believe. Uh, this is the rod when I bought my brand new GMAR P5 engines. Uh, they have this uh, RB number 10 rod in them right here. Uh, as you can see, four at the top and five at the bottom and an overall length. of 34 so the rb number 10 and the classic nova rossi r7 same rod five on the bottom four on top 34 total length end of hole to end of hole the 21 vg rod i'm showing you here is used that's why the bottom is slightly large uh this here rod Thirty four point four. OK, remember that number. So thirty four length from end of hole to end of hole four at the uh, five at the bottom, four at the top. That right there um, is a twenty one VG rod that came out of here. And this is the connecting rod for the wow racing os engine right here which is a uh 21 vg 21 vg so this rod although it is blocky as heck and this one is not they should have the same measurements as they are both for the 21 VG engine. I was measuring these inside the plastic by sticking it through the plastic and measuring them, but I want to get precise measurements. So this should be 5, 4, and 34.4 across. Five, four, thirty-four point four across. Um, okay, now this right here is the associated 21 connecting rod, which is also the associated 28 connecting rod. The Pro 21 and the Pro 28 both use this rod. So, let's see. Bottom, five, top, four, and our length on this one, 
34.4. So, the associated 21 and 28 has the same rod as the OS 21VG and the WOW Racing, which is also an OS 21VG. Uh, where... Let's take a look at this Duratrax connecting rod, which, again, I'm not, I should, should have Googled that real quick and, and, and saw which engine this was for. Now, the, the thing about these, uh, these do not have a brass insert at the top. It's just straight aluminum, um, which... Not as good. I would prefer the brass insert, but uh, I'm sure it'll be a perfectly good working rod. Five on the bottom, four up top, and a total length, 34.4. So, that Duratrax connecting rod, also the same as the Associated and the OS. Let's take a, I believe those mock rods are uh, different. I believe those are, which one are those? Let's go ahead and pull apart this Sportworks here. Now this is the rod for all the Mach 26s, all the Mach 28s, and all the variants of those. I believe, I believe this one's a bit different, yeah little bit smaller on the whole 4.8 on the bottom and four up top so that's the difference it the mock this is an sh rod these are sh based engines uh have this 4.8 lower uh crank hole down there and then it will have an overall length of 34 and a quarter looks like so that one's a little different what do we have left the old axe motor Rossi in a, in a little ziploc let's take a look and see what that is it's a five standard five standard four and let's check our length. Is it shorter? No, it's 34. 34 overall length. So, the Axe Motor Rossi rod is the same as the Nova Rossi R7 and the RB number 10. Uh... Last but not least, let's check out this NitroStar K-Series connecting rod. I will be putting all of these back in bags and restapling these packages. I'm doing this for y'all. I am taking all of these out of this package so we can get... We're getting some data here is what we're doing. We are getting some Nitro data. And I'll explain my point to all this, which I kind of have, but I'll finish it. This one looks big. Let's see. Yeah, this uh, NitroStar K series is larger. 5.5 on the bottom. 4.5 on the top. And overall length still 34.4. That's cool. But larger holes on that one. All right, so. Oh. Let's not forget that Hyper 21 connecting rod. And the Hyper 21 rod is, looks like five and four, five and four. And is it a 34 or a 34 four? It is a 34. So, 
The Hyper 21 rod is the same as the R7. And the, which one was that? The, the RB10s, the Axe Motor Rossi. So, here's my point. You have two main rod sizes. Five on the bottom, four on top, and 34.4 overall length. End of hole to end of hole, not overall length of the rod. And five on the bottom, four on top, 34 millimeter total length. So those, the, with those two lengths, right? Let's say you get, you find uh, the cheapest one of, uh, which in this case would be the red cat one. Although it's blocky, you could do some work to it. You could put a knife edge on that yourself if you wanted to. Um, find the cheapest one if you want. Maybe not. Maybe skip the one without the brass insert, the Duratrax. Um, but you know that uh, a, a lot of these rods are interchangeable. So again, your two main sizes, Your they both have five millimeter on the bottom. Four millimeter on the top. One is 34.4 length, end of hole to end of hole millimeters, and 34 millimeters, end of hole to end of hole. I know I repeat myself. Sorry about that. Uh, and then you've got uh, other stuff. Um, oh, man. I hope I don't mix. Oh, I'm going to mix these up, aren't I? You know what? I'm going to have to go back and watch the video and figure out where all these go. I should have most of them. I could I could recognize most of them, and uh, I'll get it figured out. So you have uh, some that are different. That's the thing. Not all rods are interchangeable, and I'm these are pretty much all twenty one engines. Um, what I'm talking about here uh, are twenty one engines for twenty one engines, which is my main forte. Okay, that's where I like to. That's my home base, is the 21. For the 21 engine, you got your two main sizes of rod, which will fit most engines. If you got one of each of these, you can fit a lot of 21 engines. All right. We learned a little something there, didn't we, right? That I know how to mix up crap. I'm going to put all this back together, and uh, I will get a... Uh, the next installment in the new old stock parts collection video coming up soon. See y'all then. Have a great day.